June 1994, the rogue comet Shoemaker Levy 9 approached Jupiter. As it did, observers on Earth soon realized it was on a collision course. But what it did next was totally unexpected. It split into 23 sections, and one by one, these flash impacted on the surface of the mighty Jupiter. Each flash devastated area was the size of Earth. For the first time, modern man had witnessed a comet collide with a planet. Had mankind witnessed just such an event in the past, could it happen to Earth in the future? Hi, I'm Peter Mungo Jupp. Welcome to Ancient Destructions. Now, around the world, archaeology is a hotbed of mystery. Whether you go to South America, Africa, the Syrian plains, you find abandoned civilizations, civilizations buried under rubble. You've got to ask yourself, what happened to these civilizations? Now, some say tsunamis, perhaps volcanoes, massive continent-wide earthquakes. Harvey Weiss, the eminent archaeologist working in Syria, believes that rapid climate change and dramatic weather caused the abandonment of civilizations. Even comets and meteorites are mentioned. Certainly with the demise of the dinosaurs, this has been blamed. But what about in later arenas? Perhaps four or five thousand years ago. Did something like this happen on a smaller scale? Certainly we don't see it today. Now we're going to take a fresh look at archaeology and we're going to find out what happened. Why did these people disappear? We're going to talk to the people that actually live there today. We're going to look at their legends. Now, legends are mainly ignored by modern archaeologists, Jason the Argonauts, the Trojan Wars. But I believe they hold the bones of truth. Ancient mythology is all about war between the planets in the plasma of space. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn wandered from their courses and produced great plasma discharges in the form of interplanetary thunderbolts. Earth too was involved in this war and great destructions occurred amongst mankind. There seems to have been a period of chaos in the solar system when cosmic lightning changed from one distinctive configuration to another. Now these patterns have been observed in recent years in high energy plasma labs. They've also been seen in deep space. They're not the puny sparks that we call lightning today. Throughout the world, our prehistoric ancestors put in a prodigious amount of energy into carving the thunderbolts of the gods, as they were called, into rock faces. It doesn't matter where you look, whether it's in the Americas, in Australia, in Europe, in Asia, the same patterns are to be seen. And most importantly, those patterns are reproduced in the highest energy electrical discharges on Earth in plasma laboratories. Those same images are also produced by computer modelling of those high energy plasma discharges. It's been said that extraordinary theories require extraordinary evidence. Well, we have that extraordinary evidence. Today we're going to Lebanon to visit one of the scenes of these ancient destructions. We're going to Baalbek, city of the thunder gods. We're going down the Red Sea, past Egypt, up the Gulf of Aqaba, through Israel, to Lebanon. And there awaits Baalbek, the Acropolis of the thunder gods. We have these huge blocks, and I can't even slip the wedge between these joints and yet they're huge and vast and stretch for at least 90 meters each side. This is the largest block in the world. It's colossal. Look at that, 4.5 meters high. 25 meters long. Weighs over a thousand tons. How would you move this block? Now there are two mysteries of Baalbek. Firstly, 
Who built this gigantic city with its huge blocks? And secondly, how was it destroyed? So what agent caused it to be dumped over and beyond the entire huge megalithic site? The Electrical Universe model claims far more dramatic solutions. In our full-length film, I examine how this could have affected Balbeck. The Schaefer looked at over 200 archaeological sites in the Middle East. Each site contained five destruction layers, each layer containing a dead civilization. He struggled to find the causative agent, the mechanism behind this. But there was a man who, with his new scientific theories, could. Velikovsky proposed that many myths and traditions of ancient peoples are based on actual events. And in June 1994, an event occurred that was to radically change scientific thought. In June 1994, a rogue comet, Shoemaker-Levy 9, approached Jupiter. Well above the surface of Jupiter, it flashed and discharged and then plummeted into the huge planet. For the first time, modern man had witnessed a comet collide with a planet. What was thought to be a stable solar system was now a place where the unexpected could happen. Could this have occurred on Earth? Had mankind actually witnessed such an event? Could Baalbek be the scene of an interplanetary event? Was Velikovsky right? He threw down the gauntlet to uh, astronomers when he said that the solar system had an electromagnetic nature. Cosmologists need to rethink their ideas about gravity. And when NASA looks into deep space, we see things changing more rapidly than is expected on this kind of slow evolutionary picture. Nothing could be further from the truth. The ancient skies would bear no resemblance at all to what we see today. I would guarantee that if any of us were transplanted back in time, if that were possible, that we would be frightened out of our wits. It's always been a puzzle to geologists where the energy of an earthquake comes from. And the energy comes from the stored electric charge within the Earth. Homer told how mighty Zeus, or Baal as the Phoenicians knew him, cast thunderbolts on the Earth and tumbled the walls of Troy with his earthquakes. All the initiating priests dance around the orders, chanting frantically and cutting themselves with knives. Textual acts by both male and female temple prostitutes were understood to arouse Baal. During the Roman period, it was like Orgy's temple. These people lived in fear of earthquakes and thunderbolts. Baal shattered the earth. Let's draw together these disciplines, these different sciences, archaeology, history, mythology, compare them, and if we do that, we'll get the answers we seek. The age of cataclysmic evolution and the mechanics of the chaotic solar system have arrived. What happens on planet Earth today is nothing as compared to events of the recent past. Join us as we seek the truth.